What's up everybody? Uh, today we're actually going to do a little run through of installing Vault Server uh, 2015 on a PC. Now there are a few things that you have to do first and I will kind of quickly go over those um, give you a little bit of insight of the things that have to be done before you can actually run Vault Server and install. Uh, now first and foremost you have to have a couple different things this will not work uh, as a local <clears throat> with uh, Windows 7 Home or Home Premium. Uh, you pretty much have to have either like Windows 7 Ultimate, uh, Enterprise, things of that nature in order to run your IIS and your SQL server and things like that. The Vault server is essentially a server. You have to kind of keep that in mind. It is a vaulting program or a data management system that requires uh, some things that Windows Home does not have. Now, those of you running Windows 8, I'm not quite sure uh, what is... I, I don't know. I don't run 8. I don't want to run 8. So this video will pretty much not help you if you're running Windows 8. Now, one of the first things that you're going to want to do is go into your control panel uh, go down to programs and features click on turn windows features on or off and we have to wait for this box to get populated here now once it populates you're gonna want to do a couple things here you see how it says internet information services and how it's unchecked. Uh, you're going to want to drop this open and drop these open. Uh, and all I did was open up the IIS 6 uh, under web management tools and I also expanded the World Wide Web services. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on all of the ISS IIS 6 um, check marks so that your management console, scripting tools, WMI compatibility, and MetaBase. Uh, you're going to also want to turn on your management console, uh, management scripts and tools, management service. Turn on the World Wide Web Services under application development features. You're going to want to turn on .NET. ASP, ASP.NET, CGI, and server side includes ISAPI extensions and filters should uh, be checked as well. I'm also going to make sure everything under common HTTP features is checked. Everything under health and diagnostics is checked. Everything under performance features and everything under security. And lastly, I'm also going to turn on Internet Information Services uh, hostable web core. Now, your Microsoft.NET framework uh, it may vary. Mine is 3.5.1 and it is technically checked well it's got a solid blue box in the check field uh, but neither the windows communication foundation <coughs> http http activation or non-http activation is checked uh, i think that's okay for right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit okay now it's going to take a few minutes for these uh, changes to take place uh, so i guess we'll just wait a little bit Okay, now that the IIS is done and installing, uh, after playing with Vault uh, across different platforms many and many times, uh, I will say the best way to go about this is to restart your computer now. Uh, that way you don't have any potential errors in the future uh, when you're trying to install it. So for right now, I'm going to end this portion of the video, and when we come back, I'll go into the next steps. Okay, now that I've restarted, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up an internet browser <clears throat> and type in in the address bar localhost and hit enter. Uh, if you are greeted with this I 
IIS7 or IIS6, so on and so forth. If you're if you're greeted with the splash screen, uh, so far so good. Okay, uh, that means your IIS has installed correctly. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up my install or my setup for Autodesk Vault. Now this is a student edition. It's not a um, professional edition or anything else. This is just Vault Basic 2015. Uh, and like I said, it's a student license or an educational license. Uh, so things are going to be uh, just a little bit different uh, as far as serial numbers and all that jazz is concerned. Uh, this was a download off the internet uh, from Autodesk's website. Not so much uh, a USB install. Oh, and I will forewarn you before I go any further, uh, per Autodesk's uh, suggestions, uh, there are a few things that you want to do as far as prep goes before you attempt to install anything from Autodesk. First and foremost, make sure that you have uh, administrative privileges or administrative permission. Uh, that way you can actually do installs and things of that nature. Uh, another thing that you want to do is also disable the UAC or the user uh, account control. Uh, that nice, wonderful, annoying thing that pops up every time you try and install anything. And finally, they actually suggest that you disable or postpone your um, antivirus software. Because it may potentially conflict. Who knows if it will or not. Uh, but that's just their suggestion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and install. And it's going to run an ADMS system check. Now, if you have any errors or any concerns, this is where it's going to flag it. Uh, we'll see what pops up here. This is the first time I'm running this uh, the ADMS check on uh, this PC. So I'm going to pause uh, this video until this check's done, and we'll see if we get a... Okay, unfortunately, uh, I do have an action required error, which is kind of annoying, considering I just rebooted this uh, system, but it's saying that a reboot is needed. I don't have any dot, uh, .NET errors. I don't have any uh, ASP or ASPX errors. I do have an IIS uh, connection timeout, but that's just a warning. It's not a... Uh, shouldn't be that big of a deal. So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to pause this, uh, I reboot and then we'll be back. Okay, now that I've restarted the computer, uh, you can see the uh, ADMS system check report has come back. No action required uh, since I had to reboot yet again. Uh, I'm still coming up with the IIS timeout warning, uh, which I'll ignore for right now. And we can hit continue and get the show on the road. So while I'm waiting for this stuff, I'll just pause this. Uh, well, actually, uh, what I'll do is I'll also bring up, uh, for those of you who don't know, it uses a entity of uh, Microsoft's SQL Server. Whether or not you download it off of Autodesk's website, or if you get the USB thumb drive with um, something like Design Suite Premium on it, or you know the old school way of DVDs, which I don't think they do anymore, it actually has some of the third-party data on it, so you don't have to worry about going out and downloading or finding a copy of Microsoft SQL Server and then installing it. Vault installation process for Vault Server will do all of that for you. Uh, it'll also install any necessary v uh, Visual C++ um, and so on and so forth. So basically, it's a waiting game for right now. I'll pause this video and we'll come back after it's uh, done and doing what it's doing okay um, after waiting anywhere from 15 minutes to 45 minutes depending on how uh, fast or efficient your computer is uh, you will eventually be greeted with the screen saying that uh, it is successfully installed vault basic server 2015 uh, and we're going to hit finish and of course we got to go through this uh, Basically, all we have to do is launch the console. You can then go through and... Uh, it's on my other screen. Oh, 
once it gives me control again, I'll be able to move it. Okay, basically when it first pops up uh, with the ADMS or the Autodesk Data Management Server, it'll ask you if you want to create a new vault because one has not been found. After you go through that, it's basically just give it a vault name, uh, hit OK, wait for it to pop up. Uh, you will be greeted with this. And this is the uh, Data Management Server Console. This is pretty much all you need to do for the install. Uh, then you can go on to creating your users, setting up uh, your permissions, things of that nature, and start added stuff to your or start adding stuff to your vault. Uh, but as far as install goes, that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comment box below, and I'll try to get back to them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.